Two years ago today, Jolene Thomas had hope. Hope that her daughter would heal from a debilitating drug addiction and recover to pursue her dream of becoming a nurse. But instead of hope, Thomas says she met with lies, deception, and the wrongful death of her 22-year-old daughter, Kalisha Rose Thomas. That was the deeper meaning of the drums that beat wildly during this morning's parade in Belcourt. The Turtle Mountain Days Parade is typically a parade for children to unwind and celebrate summer. But Thomas says she also wanted this to be a lesson for the ages. According to Thomas, many people in the community still don't know the dangers indigenous people face outside of Belcourt. A community educator herself, Thomas organized, funded, and decorated an MMIW float for the parade in honor of her daughter. According to Thomas, four of every five indigenous victims of murdered or kidnapped, one receives justice. Her daughter, Kalisha, was not so lucky. And when Thomas sent her daughter for drug treatment in California, she was bewildered to receive a call that her daughter had died. The reason for Kalisha's death, she says, are unknown, but Thomas believes the facility's malpractice is responsible for her death. But Kalisha is one case of many in Turtle Mountain with poorly run facilities around the country recruiting indigenous people suffering from drug and alcohol addiction in order to receive federal funding. Known as body brokering, Thomas asserts that local governments have done little to prevent indigenous death like Kalisha's. That's why her float, dressed with red trim with a teepee and float riders marked with the characteristic red handprint, is so important. It's a call to action to do more, to do better. And on her lives like Kalisha's as a sign with her face as she walked down the streets of Belcourt. Thomas is discussing legal action against the facility that was responsible for her daughter's drug treatment and says she will continue fighting until truth, justice and healing are a reality for herself and her family.